What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As always, before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. So in this particular video, I want to share my experience with y'all of uh, my first time traveling on an airplane with a firearm. So uh, with this whole trip, I recently took a trip to uh, New Orleans and then drove over to Mississippi to see some family and then I flew out of Jackson, Mississippi. So with that being said, I wanted to exercise my constitutional right and carry my gun. I don't carry one of my guns. Um, so I decided to take a gun with me. Now, this video is specifically for responsible gun owners. And I think that's important to say that kind of given that everything that's going on in the world. So with that being said, um, I decided to take my smallest gun, my Taurus G2S. And the reason I took that is because, you know, I was a little skeptical about traveling with a firearm, especially, you know, at, on an airplane. So if, if my thought process was if they were to confiscate one of my guns, which obviously they wouldn't, but if they were, I would rather lose my smallest and cheapest firearm than some of my more pricier ones. So with that, I decided to take the little, the little bitty one. <laughs> so um, this is how I did it. So based on all my research, I uh, ensured that my magazines are empty, obviously, both of them are empty. Um, put them here. My ammunition is obviously in the same package that it came in. That's important. Make sure you're in, you have ammunition that's in the, its original packaging. So have that here. And then I verified several times, several times that the gun was empty, unloaded. So put it in here like so. This is, this is how I set it up and close it up. Now, the, even though they didn't say this, what I did was I double locked the case. Now they said you had to lock it. Some forms when I was doing my research stated that you had to double lock it. So wasn't sure. So I decided to go with the safer option, which was to double lock it. So double lock it. Yep, got it. So have my case double locked. Now put this in my suitcase and this goes in your suitcase that you're checking. You can't take this on a plane. So I'm sure all responsible gun owners know that, but just in case you're a new gun owner and you think that if you have it in a case, you can take it on a plane with you. You cannot do that. So um, again, I think that's important to, to stress that because you never know with some people. So anyway, this thing is ready to go in my suitcase. Obviously that's what I put it in my suitcase. And then um, when I got there um, to Dayton airport, um, I let them know that I was traveling with a firearm. And so they started to process all of the paperwork they needed. And before I signed the paperwork to say that um, my gun and the magazines are unloaded, they wanted to see it. So I had to take it out of my suitcase and I had to unlock everything and show them that the gun was unloaded. So at the airport, this is what I had to do. So you unlock it like so. Open it up, show them that your firearm is unloaded. So after they verified it, that, that they verified that it was unloaded, I closed it back up and locked it up, put it back in my suitcase. Now, once they do that, um, then they proceed to, you know, process your bag tag, give you your boarding passes and all of those things. The other thing I will tell you is that um, when you do travel, your suitcase is not going to, when you reach your destination, your suitcase is not going to come out of that conveyor belt that it always does, given that you have a firearm. They are going to tag it with a green and white sticker like so. Here's what that sticker looks like. This is the bag I used when I uh, came back from my trip. They're gonna tag it with that sticker and um, you have to go and get your bag from the baggage claim office. You have to show them your ID. They verify that it's you and then they give you your bag. That's the process of doing that. Now, when I left Jackson, they didn't even check. I just told them I had a firearm. They asked me, was it unloaded? I told them yes, signed the paper. Uh, they had me put a piece of paper in the bag 
and in my suitcase, that was it. Um, and that was the whole thing. But I still had to go, when I got back to Dayton, I still had to go to the um, office to get it, to get my suitcase. So um, that was my experience in traveling with a firearm. So I think that if I ever decide to do that in the future, maybe I'll take one of my uh, bigger firearms. But um, this one, I mean, or maybe I'll just take this one again because this is convenient. I can put this one in my pocket. Nobody ever know. So that's just kind of how I look at it. Um, I do have my concealed carry license. So, you know, I may even take this one because it's just, just so how convenient this one is compared to these two. So again, that's my experience with traveling with the firearm. Um, with that being said, you know, please be responsible. If you are a gun owner, please be responsible with your firearms. And if you're looking to become a gun owner, uh, please, you know, perform the necessary research to ensure that you maintain the highest level of responsibility. But that's my video. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.